Hey guys, welcome back to Blackwell Unbound. I'm Grandis X, and we're about to try and finish this game as I believe we're closing in on the end. Uh, Lauren is still puffing in lung no, cancer. I'm not doing that again. The kid can find. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, let's chat for a while, brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. I am the Countess. <laughs> the Countess, my future. Countess is a. The Countess is a medium. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Hmm. Why would a medium kill? Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, saved them. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people. But they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks right. otherwise. Is the Countess my future? Is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the Countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I... I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. Oh, how sweet, Joey. Where's her spirit guide? If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? Yes. You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. <coughs> is it possible to be maybe. a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. Well, the only person that can be a guide is possibly Joseph Mitchell, because everybody he wrote about has died, so... What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think I what? To know. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. The Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone else that has the same connection. Joseph Mitchell. Who the hell's Dwayne? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say Dwayne. Dwayne? That music guy? No, it couldn't be him. He didn't know Mavis and barely knew Isaac at all. <laughs> Cecil, let's see what. Cecil Sharp? Nah, he knew Isaac, but he didn't know Mavis. Okay, it has to be. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go Joseph. Joseph Mitchell? Bingo! The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? <laughs> do you enjoy? Listen to misogynistic ghosts all day. Ha ha. Look, I'm trying to be serious for once. <laughs> so, uh, free spirits, obviously. Well, let's see what solve cases think. We get a lead, investigate, and ask a lot of questions. Yeah, that's part of it. Why? <laughs> we help spirits into the next world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow, Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess is being told, through Mitchell's writing, to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... I think you get the picture. Oh god. That's sick. It makes sense, though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. Mitchell. And Lauren is still puffing up smoke. Toss it. Toss it. I don't need this won't get filled. Uh, uh, or just throw it on your carpet. Whew, there it goes. <laughs> Actually there's one person I want to look up. The Shiva. There's no entry for What? Shiva. There's no en Hmm. I don't remember what the main character of that game was called. You can Come actually on, make a phone call to him. Right behind you. And he's from a different game made by the same people. It's 
for an achievement. <laughs> the shiver. Yes. Yes. All right, Mr. Mitchell. Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. No. Nope. No, you're oh, not. I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist. One one thousand. You have a seat. <laughs> Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. <laughs> Mind if I smoke? Well, actually. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Lord, Miss show Blackwell, him the attitude. My patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. Ask about his writing. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's but full of hot blank. air. The page is blank. <laughs> the blank You paper. haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's <laughs> dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict oh, you there. Oh, shit. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, if you'll excuse me. Calm down there, Mr. Mitchell. We're here on Sir's business. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. <laughs> Tons the of fact people that died. two of them happen to be dead does not surprise oh, me. It's not. just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Coincidence. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. <laughs> if he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. What a coin dink You aren't a very good liar. <laughs> and you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in out of the blue and bring up all this all of what i don't know i i honestly don't know i write about people and they die can you understand that can you my whole life i've been driven to write about people now i kill them instead <laughs> why is this happening why is this happening i think it's a penance of some kind i've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world perhaps i revealed one secret too many I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. Tell him about I am the Countess! You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably, so you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I prefer if you left well enough alone. <laughs> he could be a hero. Don't you want to help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. I can't leave it alone. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured, you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Um, threaten police action. He could write again. Offer words of encouragement. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Mm. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row. No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. Offer again to help? I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write, so I don't write. The problem solved. That's it. <laughs> Certain police action. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh, and tell them what? All those deaths, all killed the same way, so soon after you met them, I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? <laughs> I didn't say anything. 
<laughs> Are you threatening to write about me? Don't you want to write again? Oh yes. But people are safe as long as they don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try handed fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. Uh, I'm gonna martyr myself. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Oh Dust shit. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean. Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, Whoa. this is dangerous. Lauren Blackwell. I know what I'm Badass. doing. Badass. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that all? But she don't quiet. give a fuck. <laughs> right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father. You getting this stuff down? Oh man, Lauren Blackwell. Such badass. <laughs> well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. I've never had me typo there. And she's back to puffing lung cancer. <laughs> Anyways, Lauren Blackwell's pretty badass. I'm not moving from this spot. Damn. Probably like the best out of the Blackwell ladies, if you ask me. Come on, let's hit the road. This place is Boresville Central. In a minute, Joey. <laughs> Alright. She won't want to leave. Let's talk to her. Hey. Talk about teamwork. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this broad's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. <laughs> oh, wow. Such a calm way of handling things. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. Oh, How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. Dealing with the Countess. <laughs> so, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. All right. I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. She's here. Oh, God. It's so polite of her to knock. <laughs> it's so polite of her to knock. Uh. All right. I'm just going to pause for a second here. I'm just going to do something. Alright, sorry about that slight delay. Uh, do I just look through it? <laughs> look through this the This is door. her bed. She can lie in it. Oh. It's the front door. <sighs> Alright, Lauren. Dun, 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 dun. Mortal Kombat! It's the front door. I wish I could charge him rent. <laughs> uh, do I make any phone calls? Oh boy. Alright, let's do it. I... I know you. <laughs> I, yes. I know you. You know. Come in. Oh my I'm god. I'm watching you. So... This is such a bad idea. What's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? No. Nope. I can help. Uh, who are you? Actually, that's a bad question. She's just gonna be like, I am the Countess. Who are you? I am the Countess. <laughs> oh, knew it. Uh, where's your guide? Do you have a guide? The spirit guide? I still feel her. She's her. gone, but not completely gone. Whoa. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. 
or she went away and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything. It hurts. Oh, get the fuck away from me. Ugh. Who was your spirit guide, actually? Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? What the? Where is she now then? Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice. But he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? The hell? Alright, what about, uh, Mitchell? You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? The guide who is yes. not a guide. The non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, same. I'm like you. Joey. <laughs> I was happy. I was smaller. smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Will I become like what you? What the fuck? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. Keep away. Uh, let me help you. <laughs> I'll to help her instead. I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. You need to be free. Hey. Oh. Hey. Holy shit. Where go you old Oh my god. Bitch. Damn it. I can't do anything. Joey, do Fighter. something. Lauren, fight back. Fight back, damn you. Oh, she's choking the shit out of me. Uh. Oh no, I'm dying. Uh. Oh fuck. Do I have anything? <laughs> lighter. Can what I light it? What are you doing? That's not gonna work, fighter! How would I fight her? She's got a grip on me. She's got wrist control. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Ooh, a lit cigarette. Take this, bitch. Oh! Cigarette to the eyes, bitch. Alright, that's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, oh. she needs my help! Oh, fuck. Hey, you wanna help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. Oh! My oh. head! That's the feeling of lung cancer in your head now. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'll save you. I'm in pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can. No! The connection is gone! I cannot save you, but I can still save her. Oh shit. Hey! I said, hey! I need help! Help? Oh, oh I see how this goes. You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You! Oh, she's got a bloody hand there. Stay away from me. <laughs> Come on, then. Make with the saving. You need me? Stay away from Lauren. Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. Oh, this is so creepy. You're so good at helping. Let's see you help me. I will set you free. Oh, really? Why do you move so far? You don't need her. 
Hey. Oh shit, I completely messed that up. I need help. Oh darn it. Let's go back. Oh no no no. Oh woe is me, I'm in so much torment. Save me, damn you! <laughs> Are you hurting? That's right, feed her sarcasm. What are you waiting for? Come on! Oh shh! I will help you! <laughs> this is so weird. Come on, you old bat, save me! Your hurt will end soon. My goodness. The voice acting is waiting. incredible. <laughs> I'm in pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? I... I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? Uh, oh, yes. Joey? Lorne. You've awakened. Finish her. I'm sorry. A dude. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's gone. Gone. Fatality. I killed her. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if, what if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her. Then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's something. Lauren and Joey are part of the series, I gotta say. But this is a bad idea. <laughs> you don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Lauren? Sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. <laughs> when the sun That's the end of Blackwell Unbound, guys. So at the end there, uh, just a small little explanation. Um, Jack is actually Rosangela's mother, and Lauren is Rosangela's auntie. So this is kind of like a prequel to the to the sequel. It's a sequel prequel. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Blackwell Deception. Or was it Convergence? I don't quite remember. Voice like this. Who was the Countess? Stephanie Cox Williams was the Countess. I am like you. I'm gonna find uh, Dave Gilbert was Joseph Mitchell, the creator of the game. <laughs> can't wait to make my game and put it out there. God. You guys will see it sooner or later. You'll see a trailer within the end of this year. I promise you that. 
it's something I want out myself, so. Special activation code, real ugly. During this game, Lauren spoke 55 sigs and Joey was hit. Oh, these are the pictures I took. Bonus album of the ghosts. And the Dwayne and uh, Cecil Sharp thing. Are you sure I want to quit? Yes, I am. Alright, guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you later.